I'm Brooke Dickey. And I'm Lily Trelli. And we're here at the Clay County All-Team Banquet. We're here to interview Clay County athletes that were chosen as first teamers this year. How does it feel to be a Clay County first teamer? It's, it's great, you know, uh, the only reason that I get a chance to be a first team is because I have the greatest teachers, the greatest support staff and educators in the state of Florida. So being a, you know, it's my job's easy as superintendent of schools. I get a chance to come in and, and support the, the, the greatest caregivers of, uh, you know, within Clay County and really help our children reach their full potential. And tonight, it's all about that. It's about celebrating those who've worked hard not only inside the classroom, but outside the classroom as well. That's amazing. And how did you feel about this season overall between all the schools? You know, we, we've had a great season. You know, the biggest thing is going to, to events and seeing our kids compete. And that's all we could ask them to do. You know, wins and losses come and go. Everybody wants to win when they cross the line and, and, and they start the clock. But at the end of the day, if they get best effort every single day, then I, then they should be at peace with themselves. So, you know what, the biggest thing is, work, you know, work hard when no one's looking. Because when you get a chance to, to engage in that game or that activity, it becomes easy and automatic. So really excited about what our, our athletes are doing within our Clay County. And uh, would you like to uh, give any kind words to anybody else who is out there watching this? Yeah, the biggest thing is, uh, you know, have short-term and long-term goals and, uh, you know, establish those and, and work hard every single day. There's a world of opportunity and potential out there. And, you know, as someone who's uh, older outside of my career of athletics, I'm truly jealous for the, uh, the, uh, the time that, that you currently have that you can make the most of. And just best of luck. Stay connected to it and allow athletics to help you succeed not only inside the classroom but outside the classroom as well. So, and best of luck to you. And best, and best final question possible. What is your favorite school out of this entire county? Well, you know what? My favorite school is Ridgeview, Fleming Island, Oakleaf, Middleburg, Keystone, Orange Park. Did I miss anybody? I don't know. I, think I, got I didn't. One. I didn't know I this was a. There was one. Shoot, I didn't know there's one. Multiple. There's one because my daughter goes there. I have to leave him last, but I'm a fan of theirs. Oakleaf High School. Ah. <laughs> I said Ridgeview first, though. You did. You got a rock star teacher. Yeah, we do actually. He's he's, he's great. He is. All right. Well, it was wonderful hey, talking nice, to you, Superintendent. Nice talking to you. Yo, bro. Nathan. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, dude, what you doing here, bro? It's chilling, bro. Bro, like, bro. Oh, are you guys doing? You guys doing an interview? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I gotta go, bro. <laughs> Catch you later. Hi, I'm Lily Trelli, and I'm here with Nathan from Ridgeview High School. He's a junior, and he also played baseball. Nathan, can you tell us about your junior season? Uh, it was good. We uh, got a lot of stuff done. Couldn't take it all away, but we did all right. We did okay. All righty, and what's your favorite memory about Ridgeview baseball? Just being with my team. Those are my brothers. And what are you looking forward to next year as being a senior? playing more ball, I guess. Just doing what I love. Alrighty, congratulations for being inviting to be invited to the Clay County's first teamers. Thank you. Hi, I'm Brooke Dickey and I'm here with Ryan Dickey, sophomore that plays baseball at Ridgeview High School. Ryan, what can you tell me about your season? Um, I thought it was a good season and all. Um, Catch pretty good games and happy way season ended. Did y'all make it to the playoffs? If so, what happened? Uh, we actually did make the playoffs. Sadly, we lost first round of the uh, uh, core final in the regionals. Uh, we actually beat Clay in 11 innings to knock them out and move on. That's awesome. And what are a few things that you're excited for to, for next season? Um, we have a really young team, and I'm just really excited for. We are only we are losing two starting seniors, and uh, we just got a really young team, and I'm excited for next year. All right, congratulations, and hope you have a great night. See, now it's your turn. Hi, I'm Brooke Dickey, and I'm here with Tequila from Oakleaf High School, and she ran track this year, and she's a senior. Tequila, what can you tell me about your season? Well, this is my last season, so I had to try my best to go out strong. Unfortunately, I did not make the state, but I did make the regionals as far as I could, and I do hurdling events, and I do the 4x4 relay. That's great, and what was your favorite memory from this season? My favorite memory was PRing this year at UNF Pre-State Track Meet, and it was a great moment for me, and I didn't realize I could meet that goal, but I did. All right, and what are you doing after high school? I'm attending the University of Florida for health science, so yeah. All right, that's awesome. Congratulations, and I hope you have a great night. All righty, I'm Lily Trelli, and I'm here with... Ashton from Keystone High School. She's a junior and she played softball and golf. Ashton, can you please tell us a little bit about your season? 
Um, well, both seasons were pretty good for me. Um, our golf team went to regionals for the third year in a row, and one of our girls went to state individually for the third year in a row. And then for softball, we didn't get as far as we wanted to, but we still we lost one senior, so we have a very promising season next year. What are you excited for next season? Um, I'm excited to see how far my softball team can go. Like I said, we only lost one senior, so we have a lot of freshmen. We have eighth graders, too, that are going to step up and hopefully play to their best ability, and hopefully we'll get to go back to the Final Four. So. All right. How do you feel about being invited to the Clay County First Teamers? Um, I'm excited. I like this whole setup. I feel important. I feel like it was a job well done by me. So. All righty. Thank you, and congratulations. Appreciate it. Hi, I'm Brooke Dickey, and I'm here with Garrett Chun from Clay High School. He's a junior, and he plays baseball. Garrett, what's your favorite memory about this season? Um, definitely just being around the guys, you know, all the stuff that happens behind the scenes, being able to work with those guys um, night in and night out. That was probably my favorite memory. All right, and did you all make it to the playoffs? If so, what happened? <laughs> no, we didn't. We lost to Ridgeview. Um, they, play, they came out, they play hard, and, you know, we just, we just couldn't get it done in the end. And, and um. Just sort of, it hurts, but we'll be back next year. All right. And what's your, um, what are you looking forward to next season? Um, definitely being able to come back. We'll be young, but um, being able to come back with a group of guys, they all want to work, and hopefully getting back to the playoffs, that's our, that's our goal next year. All right. Congratulations. Thank you. And I hope you enjoy your night. I'm here with Elias Martin from Ridgeview High School. And uh, what sport are you here to represent today? Uh, men's soccer. Alrighty, and uh, how does it feel to be a Clay County first teamer? Uh, it feels really good. Last year I was uh, an honorable mention. I made it a personal goal for myself this year to uh, be on the first team. So, and uh, how did you feel like you did this season? Um, as a team, I feel like we did very good. But individually, I did okay. I, I, I wish I would have done a little bit better. But you know, uh, I'm looking forward to next next year playing in college, and I'm just gonna get better from there. And uh, what was your favorite part or memory from this season? Definitely going back to the district final for the second year in a row. Um, we worked really hard this season, especially with all the seniors we lost last year, and uh, it was just a really good feeling to get back into the finals. And do you have any family with you here today? Uh, not today, but um, yeah, not today. <laughs> and uh, would you like to make a shout out to any family or friends? Uh, shout out to my boy Brian over here. He uh, got first team with me, so. <laughs> well, that's awesome. And uh, what grade are you in, sir? I'm 12. And uh, what do you plan to do after high school? Uh, I plan to attend St. Lee University for men's soccer and play there and spend four years there. Alrighty, that's fantastic. Thank you for the interview, Elias, Thanks. and I hope you enjoy your event. I'm here with Matthew Rodriguez from Ridgeview, and I was going to ask you, uh, what sport are you here to represent today? Uh, wrestling. Alright, and uh, how does it feel to be a Clay County first teamer? Uh, it feels pretty good. I knew last year I got second team. Uh, it was pretty close, but it definitely feels a whole lot better being acknowledged by everyone. How does it feel, or how do you how do you feel that you did this season? Uh, I did definitely did better than last season. Last season I got third at state, and this year I was a runner up. So it's just lots of improvements, and I'm definitely looking forward to getting first next year. And uh, did you make it to the playoffs this year? Uh, yes. And how did that go? I got second at state. Uh, I lost by one point in the final, so it was definitely a close call. And uh, how do you feel about this event tonight? Uh, it's pretty good. I mean, the uh, food's pretty good so far, so I'm definitely looking forward to the awards. All right, and um, do you have any family or friends with you here tonight? Uh, yeah, I have my dad and my stepmom. Do you have any friends or family that you would like to shout out? Uh, I'd like to shout out my dad slash coach. He's definitely been a big part of my accomplishments, and I definitely wouldn't be here without him. And uh, what grade are you in, sir? I'm a sophomore. And what do you plan on doing next year? Uh, next year I'm going to continue wrestling, obviously, but um, just continue training and sticking to grades. Well... It was fantastic talking to you, sir. I'm happy that you gave me this interview. And uh, enjoy yourself your athletic banquet. You. You've earned it. I'm here with Storm from Middleburg High School. And uh, I was going to ask you, how does it feel to be a Clay County first teamer? It actually feels pretty good. Last year um, wasn't even a second team or honorable mention. So it just made me push even harder to try making a first team. And I made that happen this year. And uh, how did you feel about this season? I think I um, I felt pretty good making it to states for my first year, my final year as a senior, and just know my work. I knew my hard work paid off. And uh, what sport are you here to represent? Wrestling. All right. And uh, did you make it to the playoffs this year? Yes, sir. I made it to states, and I was one match away from placing. That's amazing. Uh, do you have any family and friends with you here tonight? Uh, I do. I have my mom and my dad. 
That's awesome. And uh, do you, would you like to make a shout out to anybody in the audience? I like to shout out um, my school, Middlebrook High School, my coach, Coach Dews, um, and my athletic director, um, Alan Powers, plus my principal, um, Roger Daly. And do you have, or you're, you, what grade are you in? Senior. You're a senior, and what do you plan to do outside of high school? Um, next year, I will be attending Bruton Park College, um, continue my wrestling career there. So, hope that it goes well over, up there. That's amazing. Well, it was wonderful talking to you, Storm. Wonderful. I'm here with Justin Mosley from Clay High School, and uh, what school or what sport are you representing today? I'm representing baseball today. All right, and uh, how does it feel to be a Clay County first teamer? Uh, it feels pretty good. It feels like all that work kind of paid off a little bit towards the end of the season. And how did you feel about this season? Uh, pretty good. I feel we competed a lot. We um, definitely came together as a team throughout the entire season. And uh, did you make it to the playoffs? Uh, no, we did not, unfortunately. And uh, do you have a favorite memory that you remember from the season that you'd like to share? Um, there's a little too many to count exactly. Just like the real close games where we had to truly come together to actually win. You know, it wasn't an individual during those games. So it kind of like brought us closer together. And do you have any family or friends here with you tonight? I do. I have my parents, grandparents, and my aunt here tonight. And there's, and there's Slash from a... All right. Okay. Um, <laughs> would you like to give a uh, shout-out to anybody in particular? I uh, would, actually. Uh, my man Dylan over there, he pitched a really good season for us this year. And uh, we had a freshman get pulled up, Logan Wilson. And he really came up there and performed. That's amazing. And uh, what grade did you say you were in? I'm a senior. And what are you planning on doing outside of high school? Um, going to a college to get my degree, hopefully become a radiologist. That's amazing. Well, it was wonderful talking to you there, Justin. I am here with Dylan Faulkner from Clay High School. Dylan, how does it feel to be a Clay County first teamer? Uh, it feels awesome, especially because, you know, after grinding all season, it feels good to actually, you know, get rewarded for it. And, uh, that's that. And what sport are you representing today? Baseball. And, uh, how did you feel about your season? Uh, I feel like we came up a little bit short. I mean, I feel like we competed against good teams, like, you know, being the number one team in the area. But I feel like we came up short, not making the playoffs, even though we grinded all year and in the off season. But I definitely feel like we came up a little short. And do you have a favorite memory from this season that you'd like to share? Uh, definitely beating Bulls 2-1. to one. It was a close game. I pitched all game. It was fun. And uh, do you have any friends or family with you here tonight? Uh, my parents, my grandparents, and that's about it. And uh, would you like to make a shout-out to anybody in particular? Uh... My buddy Justin, because he came from Middleburg, you know, he grinded all year. He wasn't used to that. And I think it was cool. Uh, and my parents. And uh, how do you feel about this event? I mean, I think it's awesome because they bring all the athletes together, even after the everybody's season. And we all made first teams. I mean, it's cool to celebrate it together. And uh, what grade did you say you were in? I'm a senior. And uh, what do you plan on doing after high school? Uh, I got a full ride to Tallahassee Community College to continue my baseball career. That's amazing. Well, it was amazing talking to you, Faulkner. All right. Hi, I'm Lily Trelli, and I'm here with Xander from Oak Leaf High School. He played football, and he's a senior. Xander, can you tell us a little bit about your season? Um, it went a lot better than I expected at the beginning. Uh, we came in with a new coach this year, and we showed out offense was number one in Florida. And, I mean, I had an amazing season, so I couldn't ask for anything better. All righty. And what are your plans for after high school? Um, June 21st, I'm leaving to go to UCF. Uh, I have a preferred walk on there at UCF, so I'm going to walk on there, hopefully play football for UCF and for the next four years and uh, enjoy college life. Great. And um, what was your favorite memory from your senior year of football? Oh, um, probably uh, the last game, the last play of, a Bartram, of the Bartram game, I laid a defensive end out and everyone reacted in the stands. <laughs> All righty, congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, I'm Brooke Dickey and I'm here with Marissa and she is a senior at Fleming Island High School and she's a first teamer for soccer. Marissa, what can you tell us about your season? Just really fun. I was glad I got to hang out with all my teammates and just improve on the year. All right, and what can you um, tell us, like what was your favorite memory? My favorite memory was just um, our last game of the season, going into districts, just playing it all, like leaving it all on the field, playing hard and having fun. That's awesome. And can you tell me your plans for after high school? After high school, I'm going to Troy University to continue my academic and soccer career. Well, that's awesome. Congratulations, and I hope you have a great night. Thank you. 
I'm Lily Trelli and I'm here with Dakota from Clay High School. She played softball and she's a senior. Dakota, can you tell us a little bit about your senior year playing softball? Uh, really, I just wanted to show out. We had a really good season, even though we lost in districts, but we still had a good season as a team. Great. And what are your plans for after high school? I'm currently verbally committed to FSCJ for, to continue my softball career, so hopefully that goes well. Wow, that's awesome. And how do you feel to be uh, invited to the Clay County First Teamers? It's actually an honor. I never would have thought in a million years I would have been invited to something like this. What was your favorite senior year memory playing softball? Um, hitting the winning run against Keystone, I think. I think it was Keystone, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, I'm Brooke Dickey, and I'm here with Chase McFarlane and Michael Reale. They're both juniors, and they play baseball at Ridgeview High School. What can you all tell me about y'all's season? You got it. Uh, uh, season went pretty well. Didn't go fully the way we expected, but it was hard fought and worth it all. So we had a pretty good season. You know, toward the end, started struggling a little bit, but we actually came up and uh, made it to the district championship. You know, couldn't win it, but it's okay. We're going to have a great year next year. All right, and what was your favorite memory from this year? Me first? Oh, favorite memory is probably beating Clay in the district semis. Yeah, the 11 inning game was pretty worth it. All right, and what are some of the goals y'all have for next year? Winning a district championship. Uh, same district championship, push the playoff run. All right, congratulations, and I hope you all have a great night. Thank you, you too. Hi, I'm Lily Trelli, and I'm here with four of our first teamers. What's your name? David. Zykeem. Alex. Kendi. And what are y'all all here for? Weightlifting. Weightlifting. Track and football. Football. Alrighty, and how does it feel to be picked as a first teamer this year? It's very humbling, you know, experiencing with this all, like, amazing athletes in the county. It's just a humbling experience. I feel blessed. Honestly, I was not expecting to come here. Mm -hmm. I was just doing my thing, and I ended up coming here, so I thank right. God for that. It make you feel like you're one of the best in the county. That's well, well y'all are. I mean, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'm just humble and blessed two times. Right. Oh, yeah, this is my second time. Okay. All righty. Well, congratulations to all of y'all, and thank y'all for coming up here. Thank you. Thank y'all ready? Hi, I'm Brooke Dickey, and I'm here with a few of Orange Park's first team athletes. Hi, what's your name and what sport are you here for? Carson Jackson for football. Keenan Restoff for cheerleading. Diego Soto, track. And Sean Dixon for track. Oh, yeah. All right, and can you all share with me how your season went? We had a good season. <laughs> um, this year I was a tri-state athlete, but I made it to first state for um, cheerleading. Cheerleading season was pretty good, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, went really well. We broke our school record. Yeah, that's true. I broke my personal record. You know, it's an accomplishment for me. All right. And what are your goals for after high school? Oh, I plan to go to JU, and that's about it. All right. Advance the kingdom of God. All right. Uh, I don't know. I still got another year. Okay. After I graduate high school, I want to go to college for sports medicine so that if I don't make it into the NFL or after college for uh, track or football, then I can teach people who want to be in the NFL. All right, congratulations to all of you, and I hope you all have a great night. Hi, my name is Layden Blunt, and I'm here with the most of the cross-country team. And uh, I'm here with Joel Nisi from Ridgeview High School. And uh, how, how, how do you feel about this season here, Joel? It was a great season. Got to spend it with my good friends now. Just cross country has taught us a lot, and we've grown a lot together and built a great friendship. And did you make it into the playoffs? Playoffs? <laughs> playoffs. I don't even. I don't even know what there are for playoffs. They just. They say. I'm not the one who's creating questions. Either way, <laughs> I'm gonna ask you. Uh, how does it feel to be a uh, a Clay County first teamer? It feels awesome. Amazing. Yes. And uh, is there? How do, you, how do you feel about this event? It's a beautiful campus, beautiful setup, and we got awesome people interviewing us, and it's a great experience. Awesome people interviewing us. All right, amazing. All right, we're going we're gonna to pass the torch off from you, some of these other people, because I feel like I've been neglecting them like a, like a small child. Um, so, how, how, do you guys, how do you guys feel about this season? How do you guys feel about that? I felt pretty good. Definitely a successful season. It's all right. It was pretty good. Very nice. 
Fantastic. All right. And is there any shout outs you guys would want to make besides to each other? Shout out to my boy uh, Alex Collier, beating uh, beating Tyrese Cooper, state champion, 46-3-3. <laughs> uh, shout out Birch Green, back out in the uh, the pastures. My new roommate, Keith Kelly. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Oh, Keith. Gotta give it to Birch Green. He's our boy out in Lake City. Yeah. Shout out to Justin Tackling. Get, go 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 get Grace, boy. Go get him. Shout out to Keith Kelly, <laughs> a legend. <laughs> we miss you, Keith. Thank you for graduating. <laughs> Good job graduating. You actually did it. Amazing. <laughs> Very good job. All right, and uh, and that and that's it. I guess I guess. All right. Go away. <laughs> okay. Bye. All right. I am here with Eddie Thomas from Keystone Heights. Eddie, uh, what school are you? Let's restart that. Okay. <laughs> God. Yes. I'm here with Eddie Thomas from Keystone Heights. Eddie, what sport are you representing today? Basketball. Alrighty, and uh, how does it feel to be a Clay County first teamer? Um, I guess it's a big surprise because when I first started playing basketball, I only averaged about like zero to two points, and now I average 20 points in my senior year. So I'm pretty proud to be a part of that. And uh, how did you feel about this season? I felt pretty great. It wasn't as good as last year, but I made a lot of good friends and good memories. And did you make it to the playoffs? Yes, but we have lost. Yeah, and you always have, well... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, how do you feel about this event? I mean, you've come all this way and you've earned all this. I mean, you must feel pretty proud of yourself for this. Yes, I actually feel very excited because I know it's a big accomplishment. I'm pretty proud of myself, and I know my parents are too. And are your parents here with us today? No, sir, but my brother is. Mm. And uh, do you have any shout-outs that you would like to make for anybody in particular? Um, Shout-out to my brother because... He's the main reason why I'm here, because he got me to play basketball in the first place. That's very touching. Um, and you said you were in 12th grade. What are you going to do after high school? What are your plans? Um, I'm hoping to uh, get a college degree in graphic designing. And from there, I'm probably going to get a job for it and probably move to California, because I know in California they have high paying jobs for it. That's very ambitious. Well, it was wonderful talking to you, Eddie. Thank, Thank you for the interview. You. And you enjoy your absolutely wonderful banquet. I am here with Vivica and Ari from Oak Leaf High School. Now, my question for you is, is what sport are you representing tonight? Track and field. Track and field. And uh, how does it feel to be a Clay County first teamer? It feels yeah, it, good. It feels pretty for good. For our freshman year? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's raw. Big and how did you guys feel about this season? It was, it was good. We went to the state our freshman year. We got yeah. third. You know, it was good. And do you have any family with you here tonight? Yes. yes. I have my mom. Mama Dukes. I have my mom, too. And would you like to make any shout-outs to anybody in particular? Uh, I'll give you both the mics if you really want to. I don't know, I don't know. I'd like to thank my mama for making me and my daddy, too. I want to thank all my coaches, Coach Smith and, you know, Coach Chris. And we want to I would like to thank my mama, even though she's aggravating, and um, I, I love the support she gives me and my father. And um, I'd like to thank Coach Smith. I love you, man. <laughs> oh, and I want to thank my best friend. She always supported me. And um, Bree with an I. And Bree with a Y. Yeah. Yeah. Already. And uh, my final question is, is uh, you were both in ninth grade, I presume. And uh, what do you plan on doing next year? Uh, PR. Yeah. PR. Repeat. Repeat. We're gonna win state too. We're winning state. Yeah. Well, I guess you guys have you have very high goals for yourselves, so I, I hope you guys accomplish that next year. It was wonderful talking to both of you, and uh, I hope you absolutely enjoy your wonderful athletic banquet. Wonderful. Alrighty. And it's gonna. Oh God, this is gonna kill both of us. Yeah, worth it. Worth it. All right. My name is Layden Blunt, and I am here with Holden Nap. And what school are you from, Holden Knapp? Keystone Heights High School. Keystone Heights High School. That is awesome. And what school or uh, what sport are you representing today? Weightlifting. Alrighty. And uh, how does it feel to be a Clay County first teamer? Um, it's an accomplishment for me. It's been a long road ahead. That's awesome. And how do you feel about this season? Um, I did pretty good. I went to state, so I'm happy about that. Did you make it to the playoffs? Mm, no. Well, in that case, that's that's always fine. There's always next year. <laughs> um. So, uh, how do you feel about tonight's event? Um, it'll be a fun time. Just going to roll with the punches. Oh, yeah. And uh, do you have any family with you here tonight? Um, no. Nah. Just 
All right, and uh, I'm trying to trying to trying to zen myself real quick. We'll we'll clip it. Don't worry. All right, what is my okay? Oh, um, what is your favorite memory from uh, this season? Going to state, definitely. Going to state. All right, and uh, do you have anybody that you would like to shout out or anything like that? No, I'm no good. friends or family. All right, and um, what grade are you in? And what are you planning on doing in next year? Just, I'm going to work on what I did wrong and just improve on it. That's really powerful stuff. And uh, what is your name, sir? Dean Hogg. All right, Dean, Dean Hogg. Mm -hmm. All right, and what school are you attending? Keystone Heights. Keystone Heights. And what sport are you here for today? Soccer. Soccer. All right. And how do you feel being a Clay County first teamer? I mean, um surprised actually because I'm only at 10th grade so mm -hmm. yeah that, that's an accomplishment for anybody yeah. and uh, how do you how do you feel about this event right now um, I'm kind of nervous to be honest really and why is that because there's a lot of people here uh, you know people you can get past them it's no biggie yeah. um, do you have any friends or family with you today uh, yeah I got my stepdad my mom and my sister that's really interesting and then uh, how what is your favorite part did you did you how did you feel about this season? Um, I felt good, but I feel like our team needs to put a little bit more work into it and, and uh, try harder next try harder next year, I guess. And uh, did you go to the playoffs this year? Um, uh, yes, but we we won one game, but then la but the next one we lost, so we didn't get to go to districts. Well, there's always next year with that. You're in tenth grade, so you're absolutely fine with that. Um, and do you have anybody, any friends or family that you would like to shout out? Alrighty, and uh, you said you were in tenth grade. What do you plan on doing next year? Uh, putting in a lot of work, try or uh, try harder, score more goals, get more assists, and that's about it. Well, it was wonderful talking to you, sir. It's we we got we got weights on there now, so hopefully it doesn't die. All right, my name is Layden Blunt, and I'm here with Cooper Vaughn. All right, Cooper Vaughn, and what school are you attending? Uh, Clay High. All right, and uh, how does it feel to? Oh no. Hello? This do we just can we just should we just take this thing down? Like what do we what what do we what do we what do we do with that one? <laughs> I mean if you guys want you can always put in a statement. We always have a question where you guys can put in your statement if you really want to talk on. Oh yeah, no, I mean if you want them to Alright, yeah, yeah. Alright, so I'll just skip that question. Okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's simple. Alright. <laughs> Alright. So my name is Layton Blunt and I'm here with Cooper Vaughn, didn't we already do this? I'm yes, sorry. we. Yeah, we're we're restarting because for some reason this is being dumb and, and oh, we're good. Set. Okay. And now we're gonna restart again. All right, my bad. Perfect. You're okay. all good. All right. My name is Layden Blunt, and I'm here with Cooper Vaughn. And what school are you attending there, Cooper Vaughn? Uh, Clay High. All righty. And uh, what sport are you here to represent? Uh, basketball. All righty. And how does it feel to be a Clay County first teamer? Uh, you know, you just put in all the work over the years, and then you know you become an all county player, and it feels really good. You know. That's awesome. A sense of accomplishment. Yeah, a sense of accomplishment. And how do you feel about this season? Uh, we did pretty good. We made the f playoffs for the first time in 15 years, and it felt good because I was a team captain and led them to all the wins and stuff. It was That's pretty awesome. good. Did you guys make it to the playoffs? Uh, yes, sir. And uh, how did you do with that? Uh, we uh, actually we played Gainesville. They're a really good school. We, we kept it close, but we lost in the end, so we didn't make it past the first round. But it was still pretty cool to make the playoffs for the first time in 15 years. It was pretty uh, good. That's awesome. And um, how do you feel about this event? Uh, it's a pretty big deal. It's pretty cool. Okay, and uh, do you have any friends or family with you? That yeah, my stepmom's right there, and my dad is somewhere else. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Um, and that's that's awesome. Always having family to support you is always great. And uh, what was the I, I need to. All right, we're gonna we're gonna clip this. Let me see. I'm gonna try and remember what I was gonna ask. This is very professional. Oh, you good. Power of editing is always great, but I got I got halfway through the script there. Okay. Oh yeah, no, yeah. That was we're on the last question. Oh, okay. Okay. And uh, do you have any friends or family that you would like to shout out? Yes, I would like to shout out my three moms, Miss Jolene, uh, my mom Clarissa, who's in the building already, and my other mom is Paula. I have a lot of moms. I'm so sorry. My dad, my girlfriend is standing right there. She, you can put the camera on her if you want. She's right there. Behind the Fleming Island jersey, we just we just move this. She's right there. Um, yeah, and I also want to thank my grandparents, and that's I don't know where they're at, but that's everyone.
Thank you. And oh. Oh, yeah, no, and oh, one I'm so sorry. final question, and, and what grade are you in again? Oh, I'm in 12th grade. You're in 12th grade, yeah. so what are you going to do after graduation? Uh, I'm going to go to college and study to be a criminal psychologist. Oh, that's, that's awesome, actually. Yeah, I know, right? All right, well, it was wonderful talking to you, Cooper. To yeah, and enjoy your, uh, your athletic banquet. I will. And I'm here with? Colin Henderson. All right, Colin Henderson, and what school do you attend? I'm from Middleburg High School. And you're from Middleburg High School. What sport are you here for today? Uh, baseball. Baseball. And how does it feel to be a Clay County first teamer? Well, this is my second year. I won it last year too, so it's a pretty big deal. This is the second year being here, so kind of know what's going on, but it's a really big, big deal for us. How did the season go for you this year? Well, it started off as a little, little rough because I got injured, but towards the end, I started taking off and just started piecing up the ball and got me here with where I was. And do you have any favorite memories from uh, this season that you'd like to share with us? Yeah, just the team we were. We're just very close knit together, We've been playing for. I don't know how long, just a very long time together. So it's just a very good team to play around. One of the, my favorite teams to ever play for. That's awesome. And uh, do you have any family with you today? Yes, my mom, my sister, and my dad, and my girlfriend, and her mom's on the way. That is amazing. And how do you feel about this event? Well, I mean, it's a pretty big deal. Like, there's all the best athletes of their sports here today So, for Clay County, so it's a pretty big deal for everybody. And uh, do you have anybody that you would like to shout out or give thanks yeah, to? Yes, my co coach Pierce, my baseball coach, who's done a lot for me for the last four years. My parents, of course, and my girlfriend always support me through everything, so I love that. I love All right, and, uh, and what grade are you in? I'm a 12th grader. You're a 12th grader, and what are you planning on doing after graduation? Um, going to college, I don't know yet where because I'm still talking to several schools, but go to college for uh, occupational therapy. That is amazing. Well, I hope you absolutely love and enjoy your, uh, your athletic banquet, sir, and it was wonderful talking to you. This... Who is this? Uh, all right, and you're and you're, you're slash. What are? I don't know what that means. Okay, okay. My name is Layden Blunt, and I'm here with Kiana Montoya. All right, Kiana Montoya. And uh, what school do you attend? Fleming Island High School here. Alrighty, and uh, how does it feel to? See, this is this is why I'm bad at interviewing. I'm just so good at this. <laughs> just, I'm here with Kiki Montoya, and uh, from Fleming Island High School. And I was going to ask. Uh, what sport are you here to represent today? Flag football. Alrighty. And uh, how did you feel about this season? Oh, amazing. We had, uh, I think our team was very stacked. Uh, we had an amazing team. Every single position, we had an amazing person to play. And we had an amazing season. That's all I could ask for. And did you go to the playoffs? Uh, yes, we did. Uh, we were um, top eight in our state. And it's, I think it'll be fun. Okay. <laughs> we, were, we were top eight in our state. <laughs> We're just gonna we're just gonna let it do its thing. Okay, and, mm -hmm. and yeah, and then but we uh, we lost in the semifinals, I believe. But yeah, it was okay by one touchdown, so it was fine. Alrighty, and how does it feel to be a uh, Clay County first teamer? Oh, it feels amazing. It's absolutely a blessing. I feel that um, a lot of people don't go through this. You have to work hard for it. So I feel very blessed that you know I have a lot of support from my family, and my teammates. So yeah. And uh, how do you feel about this event tonight? Oh, I love it. I've never been to this one before. That friend. seems to be the reoccurring trend with a lot of the, uh, <laughs> the people here. So, yeah. um, And do you have anybody that you would like to shout out or anything oh, like that? Definitely my mom. Thank you for birthing me. I appreciate that. You eat my G. I love you for that. And, uh, and last question. What grade are you in? I'm a sophomore. And what, what do you plan to do next year? Come back here. Same spot. Or in a different school, but for county. And, and winning the state championship. I'm so sorry I interrupted you. <laughs> <laughs> You're absolutely fine. All right. Well, it was it was amazing talking yes, to you, Kiki. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the interview, thank and you. I hope you enjoy your sports banquet. Yeah, there you go. What is your name, sir? Landon Up. And what school are you attending? Uh, right here, Fleming Island High School. Fleming Island High School. Very good. And what sport are you here to represent today? I'm here for cross country and track. All right. Perfect. And uh, how does it feel to be a Clay County first teamer? It's uh, it's pretty cool. I did it again last year, but this year doing it for two sports feels a lot better. To represent the school. How did your uh, how did your season uh, feel this year? Oh, they both were both were great. Uh, cross country went to state, track four by eight went to state. <laughs> oh, there we go. So uh, I think the interview is going pretty well. I'm, uh, I don't know about you guys. Uh, perfect, perfect environment. Perfect environment. No no problems whatsoever. I think I think this is a very professional setup. Very. Oh, I thought you. I thought you were talking about the video. I was like, all right, um, and you. Okay. And did you go to the playoffs? Uh, state championship. And and how did how did that go? We uh, the four by eight team got ninth, and track we got fourteenth. 
or I mean cross country we got 14th so it was good both seasons were good that's super awesome and uh, what was your favorite memory from uh, this season um, just just the whole cross country stay experience going with the team up to uh, up towards Tallahassee it was really fun and uh, do you have any family with you today or are you all by yourself uh, my mother and father are both here that's awesome and uh, do you have any uh, shout outs anybody you want to shout out any friends or family that you want to shout out um, just Coach Mortz, track and cross country coach. That's why we're here. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, thank there, you. Landon. Absolutely. Nice meeting you. Yes, you sir. go enjoy your uh, your your sports day. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight. Gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rockets are. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage your co-master of ceremonies for the 2018-19 Clay All-County Coaches Teams, sponsored by Varsity Brands, Mr. John Stromolo and Mrs. Cindy Wingate and some of our school mascots. All right, make some noise for those school mascots. Lake County in the house. Yes. Thanks, fellas. We'll see you a little later in the show. See you guys a little bit later. You know mascots. It's all Thank about you. them. Thank you, guys. Well, go ahead. Get out of here. Go ahead. Come on, Slash. Go. Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right, we'd like to welcome everybody to the Clay County Coaches First Team Award Show. Tonight is all about the student athletes sitting in the first eight rows. We want to acknowledge all the hard work that they've put in in the classroom and on the playing field and courts all over Northeast Florida. Tonight, we're going to recognize the first team award winners for all 23 sports here in Clay County. And also, Miss Cindy, we got some pretty cool individual awards as well. It's going to be a fun night. And before we begin to recognize the amazing athletes that are here tonight, we'd also like to recognize our special guest. And to do that is the Director of Academic Services and my husband, Mr. Michael Wingate. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, baby. <laughs> I'm going to have to take her shopping tomorrow, I think, or something. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Hey, what a good-looking crowd. Everybody dressed up tonight, looks sharp. Guys, you look sharp out there, all right? Real quick, we want to introduce some special people uh, who work in our school system, who lead our school system. We're going to do this. Now, see if we can follow some directions here. We're going to introduce a group at a time, and then we'll get to the ceremony in just a second. First of all, our hard-working board members, we're going to announce them Real fast, give a round of applause at the end when all five are announced. 
our school chairperson, Ms. Carol Studdard, vice chairperson, Ms. Janice Caracas, Ms. Tina Bullock, Ms. Mary Bola, and Ms. Ashley Gilhausen. Give them a round of applause. Thank you. All right, next up we go to this side of the room. We got some special folks. I tell you, my hat goes off to you. I know how hard it is in the chair you're sitting in. And I wanted to introduce the high school principals. Again, we're going to announce all of them. You're going to give a big round of applause at the end. We got Mr. Clayton Anderson, Ms. Debbie Segreto, Mr. Roger Daly, Mr. Kerry Dix, Mr. Aaron McWilliams, Ms. Treasure Pickett, Mr. Martin F. Tuck, and Mr. Tom Pittman. All right, a good-looking group there. Thank you, folks. Thank you. And then we're going to go back over here. Some other hard-working people. They don't get enough love, I can tell you that. We're going to introduce them all, and then you're going to give them a big round of applause. This is our high school athletic directors. Directors. We got Mr. Chuck Dickinson, Keystone Heights, Alan Powers, Middleburg High School, Michael Harrison, Orange Park High School, Jay Stilano, Clay High, Frank Jenkins, Oak Leaf, and Travis Cunningham. Thank you guys, appreciate that. You've already met Mr. John Scromolo over there, so he'll get enough attention tonight, all right? We've got some other important people here work with your students, and that's our junior high athletic directors. Most of you students, you'll remember them when you were at the junior highs. We got Mr. Chris Goddard. We got Dan Slater, Miranda Knox. We got Lance Lowry. That's all we got right there, okay. Give them a round of applause. All right, next up, you're going to see several videos tonight. But we, got, uh, we asked a special young man to make a short video for us and how sports or athletics has impacted his life. Join me in watching this video. Yeah, athletics has been an instrumental part of, of who Addison Davis is. You know, I started playing, you know, football and baseball around five or six years of age and had the opportunity where my parents were really engaged in, in extracurricular activities. I had two older brothers, two younger sisters. We all participated every day, and um, it helped me become a, uh, you know, a better person on and off the field. It allowed me to have leadership skills. It allowed me to ha understand team concept. It set individual short-term. Athletics can really set up the tempo or the mentality or the pride of a school. And, uh, you know, hats off for all the student athletes who go over and beyond uh, the call of duty of their classrooms and extend to participate in extracurricular activities within our school district. But being a part of a team, being a part of a concept, uh, being a part of a, of a culture and creating ownership really allows, uh, you know, a school to, to prosper. And it really creates pride internally as you walk through the ha hallway. So, you know, uh, hats off to the coaches that coach every day, the, the athletic directors and the and also to the parents who drive their children, you know, back and forth. Yeah, the biggest thing is that we want students to have uh, great pride into their schools. We want them to be actively engagedly involved, whether that's through an extracurricular, a club, an athletics, or, you know, any type of sponsorship that's going on at the school. You know, forever, you need to understand, no matter what school you, are, you attend or will attend or have attended, that school will always be a part of your life. So, you know, when you're asked the question to where you went to elementary, junior high school, or high school, there's always a story to tell. And one of the things we want to do is be able to tell a story where you are actively engaged in the entire connectivity of education inside and outside of our classroom. So, you know, if you're looking for something to, uh, to be a part of, looking for something to, to learn new friends and uh, to, to learn toward uh, setting short-term and long-term goals to be successful, get engaged with an activity or extracurricular, you know, club within our schools. And uh, I hope you will take that, uh, that small step to put you in a, you know, a great place to, to learn from others, be successful for others, and also to be very proud prideful about uh, the school that you attend. Jesse, you know what, all the educators are like, we love that video. He says stuff and now he's saying nothing. We love it, play it, let's get out of here. But uh, nonetheless, uh, thank you for being here. The real, you know, tonight is about, is about our athletes who not only perform inside of our classrooms, but perform outside of our classrooms as well. It is very difficult to do. And we're talking about all the practices, the mental preparation, the physical preparation, the individual coaches, the traveling, because we know parents, are, if you're in here, you have travel leagues, travel balls, you're going across the country. If you're a parent of one of these athletes, please stand up. Let's give them some love tonight. 
because we can do better than that. Let's give them some love tonight. Thank you for what you do every single day because it's not easy. And athletes, athletes, every single weekend, every single day, they push you to make you better. And you, let me tell you, you should thank them because you are here this evening, which signifies that you are the best in Clay County. So give yourself a round of applause for being here, and it's a great job. And, 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 and know this, it, none of this could, could be possible without the leadership through Mr. Wingate and his team. And, uh, you know, he, they put this together. This is the second time. This is my vision last year to come on board and to put this together to really signify and identify individuals who are doing great work outside of the classroom. And so, very, so many times that we really highlight, you know, academic achievement, but there's a lot that takes place outside of the classroom, and this is just another event. So let's give Mr. Wingate a round of applause for everything that he does. And we appreciate what you do every single day. And then last one, this, this could not happen without the support from a gracious school board who truly leads this school district in a manner that really celebrates students uh, all the time. So last time, give them a round of applause as well. Thank you so very much, you're five. Athletes, for those of y'all, some of you are still in championship series, good luck to you. Some of, the, some of you are going on the transition to college. We'll keep up with you, connect with us, your coaches and, uh, and so forth. Best of luck and understand that your journey is, is just beginning for those who are seniors. You now have the opportunity to go on and to do so many things in your life that all of us in here are super jealous of that you have that time on your side. Make the most of it. Make good decisions all the time. But more importantly, never forget your core values when you're on the field and off the field. And best represent your parents who care about you and you love you. Thank you, and uh, bless Alitas County, and see you soon. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Superintendent. Folks, we couldn't have a, an event like this without a sponsor, and I can tell you, uh, Varsity Brands helps us out so much, uh, not just in this event, but in the school system, but Varsity Brands, one of their companies, Herf Jones, and the representative Herf Jones, he is a major friend of Clay County school system. I can tell you, this guy does a lot for us. Please give a big round of applause for Mr. Kevin Whitlow. All right, real quick, we're getting ready to get started, but how this came about is we wanted to choose the best athletes in each sport, and we wanted our head coaches to choose the best athletes, and that's what happened. So we have a pre-selection meeting several months before the season starts. We go over criteria, and then we have a selection meeting at the end of the season, and the seven head coaches of each sport meets, and they work it out, uh, whatever the criteria has been established, and that's how the first teams get selected by the experts, the seven head coaches. And we appreciate what they do, okay? A few directions, and we're going to get started. Now, athletes, you were told by your AD or your coaches to sit on either the left side, be my right, your left facing the stage, or the right side, because you're going to go to a staging area. When Mr. Scromolo and Ms. Wingate calls out a sport, they're going to tell you either go to the left staging area, and here's what that means. You're going to walk behind that curtain, there's going to be a young man over there who's going to tell you the order of names are going to be called out, or they're going to ask you, whatever sport you may be, to go to the right staging area. You're going to go behind this white and gold curtain over there. You're going to make your way up here, get uh, your medallion. We're going to go back and take a picture with Katie and Katie, and then you'll come back to your seats, okay? So you need to be listening when your sport's called and what side, what staging area to go to, and everything will smooth, uh, flow a little bit smoother right there, okay? Are you ready for some sports? All right, Mr. Scromolo, let's go. Thank you, Mr. Wingate. Throughout the night, in between the first county team selections, we will be announcing some awesome individual awards. A selection committee was created, and those individuals went through all of the nomination packets for each of the seven, from each of the seven high schools for these individual awards. We will hear about those in just a little bit, but we're going to get started with our first team recognitions. First up is wrestling. As we go through the various sports, we will ask that all the first team honorees approach the staging area that is on their side of the cafeteria. For example, right now I'd like to ask the first team wrestlers to report to the staging area to the right of the stage. So if you're a wrestler that's on a first team, stand on up and go right over there to Mr. Wingate and he will get you staged up.
While those wrestlers are getting staged, if you're a girls weightlifter, I want you to stand up. You're going to go to the left staging area, all of our girls weightlifters. Student athletes, as your names are called, you're going to come up on the stage and receive your medallion. Once you've received your medallion, please stay on the stage and you will exit the stage as a team. To You're going to head on over to the Katie and Katie photo room. Parents, don't worry if you don't snap that perfect picture. We will have more information about those pictures at a later date. Presenting tonight's awards to the athletes will be Clay County School Board members and principals. To get us started at this time, I'd like to ask Miss Carol Studdard, please come to the stage for our first couple of sports. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage School Board member Miss Carol Studdard. There you go, there's your beautiful X. Center stage, here we go. And now, the Clay All-County Coaches first team selections for wrestling are Matt Rodriguez, Ridgeview High School. Riley Horton, Fleming Island High School. Briar Jackson, Fleming Island High School. Ryan Hobson, Fleming Island High School. Kale Hoskinson, Clay High School. Storm Mercado, Middleburg High School. Gannon Jansen, Fleming Island High School. Luke Chop, Fleming Island High School. Tanner Hill, Fleming Island High School. No problem, fellas, if you can, just keep scooting, kind of make a U shape so we can fit everybody up here. We appreciate it. Jacob Campbell, Orange Park High School. Just keep coming this way. There's only, there's only a couple more. Perfect. Jacob Moore, Orange Park High School. Chad Nix, Fleming Island High School. Reach tall, Miss Stuttered. Jeff Lascano, Fleming Island High School. And last but not least, from Clay High School, Derek Mosley. Ladies and gentlemen, your first team all-county selections for boys wrestling. <laughs> Fellas, at this time, come on this way. You're going to head to the Katie and Katie photo room. Another round of applause for those boy wrestlers. Next up, we have girls weightlifting. These ladies have already reported to their staging area. So now we ask that the boys weightlifting first team please report to the right side staging area. Boys weightlifters, it's your turn to go to the staging area. And now here are the first team selections for the Clay All-County Coaches team for girls weightlifting. Kira Boone, Clay High School. Samira Briley, Oakleaf High School.
Asia Hill Ridgeview High School. Madison Tomberg, Middleburg High School. Hadassah Davis, Oakleaf High School. Lexi Perez, Oakleaf High School. Jaden Fernandez, Fleming Island High School. Caitlin Griffin, Middleburg High School. Lindsey Brooks, Clay High School. And Kayla McKean, Clay High School. Congratulations, ladies. Another round of applause for our first team girls weightlifters. Ladies, come on down to the Katie and Katie photo room. Congratulations. And now we would like to present the Clay All-County Coaches First Team for Boys Weightlifting. They are Michael Williams, Oakleaf High School. Holden Cummings Knapp, Keystone Heights High School. Rolando Gray, Ridgeview High School. Zach Nesby, Oakleaf High School. Andrew Thomas, Fleming Island High School. These guys must be working out right now. Zykeem Sermons. Orange Park High School. David Atahujo, Orange Park High School. Josh Hughes, Keystone Heights High School. Jeremiah Jackson, Fleming Island High School. And Dan Dodd from Keystone Heights High School. Ladies and gentlemen, another, another round of applause for our first team boys weightlifters. Fellas, go ahead and head on this way, stage left, to the Katie and Katie photo room. We all know that motivation is key to quality performance in athletics. Here's a short video of some all-star athletes <laughs> getting motivated. Guys, this is our big event of the year right here tonight, and we've got to get after it. We've worked all year to get to this point. You guys have worked hard, done everything we've asked, you've worked out, you're ready to go tonight and everything else, okay? So we've got to have energy, and I'm talking about energy. We've got to bring it tonight. Do you understand what I'm talking about? We've got to get out there tonight, and we've got to get after it. We've got to make sure tonight we are going to be the best we can possibly be out there. Are you with me? Coach, maybe we should have just bought him pizza. Let's welcome out to the stage one more time our school mascots. We got Slash from Ridgeview High School. We got Swoop from Fleming. We got Swoopette from Fleming. 
We got Nitro from Oakleaf. And we got the Blue Devil from Clay. These mascots work extremely hard, especially on Friday night. You can catch them at events all over your campus. One more time, a big round of applause for our school mascots. Thanks, fellas. You can head to the Katie and Katie photo room. Come on, this way, stage left. It's time I'm going to send it over to Miss Cindy. Miss Cindy, what's going on over there? Thank you, John. Thank you. What a fantastic group of young people we have here tonight. And as mentioned earlier, there are many individual awards that we're going to be presented. The first of these awards has to do with the coaches of these young athletes. As we all know, it takes a good coach to get the best out of their team. And in Clay County, we are blessed with excellent coaches. Please join me in watching this short video on why do we coach. I coach for the kids. I simply do this job because I love being around the kids. I love the opportunity for the children. I coach because I love working with young people. I love sports. Um, and I love teaching. And to me, coaching is just um, teaching in a different venue. Um, there's nothing like Coaches, I hope to have the same positive impact on these young men that my high school coaches had on me. Uh, it was definitely a life-altering uh, situation playing for the guys I played for in high school. school and I like coaching not just because of the athletics but the whole process I like I think the reason uh, that I coach is that we invest a lot of time and energy into the, into the, the kids in the program uh, one of my goals is always to make sure we help these kids become high achievers once they graduate. Uh, the, the best thing is when they come back and thank you. Um, I, I truly believe that the more you invest, the more you, the more you get in, uh, the more you get out, uh, both in, in the student athlete and in our program. A big round of applause for all of our coaches in Clay County. Yes. Thank you. I think you would all agree it takes a very special person to be a coach. Now to present the male and female coaches of the year, please join me in welcoming to the main stage the principal of Middleburg High School, Mr. Roger Daly. Congratulations, Coach Thompson. And now joining Coach Thompson on the stage is the male coach of the year, and that is from Fleming Island High School, wrestling coach P.J. Cobbard. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2018-2019 Clay County Coaches of the Year. Come on over this way. Fantastic. Congratulations to both of those coaches and their outstanding achievements. Both of their teams have, have made some deep, deep playoff runs. And uh, Oakleaf softball is still on the ride, so best of luck to them as well. Let's get back to the first team selections. Next up, we have volleyball. We'd like to ask that, that the volleyball first team selections report to their staging area to the left of the stage. While they're doing that, we'd like to ask that the first team girls swimmers please report to the right side of the stage at this time. While we await the student athletes getting to their staging areas, we'd like to welcome our next guest presenting the medallions and certificates. It's going to be school board member, Miss Janice Karakis. Miss Karakis, come on up.
All right, and the Clay County coaches' first team selections for volleyball are setters from Fleming Island High School, Kaylee DePaula. Setter from Fleming Island High School, Molly Lawrence. Middle from Fleming Island High School, Raina Durden. Defensive specialist from Fleming Island High School, JJ Ramirez. Outside hitter from Keystone Heights High School, Madison Heskett. Outside hitter from Fleming Island High School, Liara Rosario. And the utility player from Ridgeview High School, Kaylee Keller. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for your Clay County All Coaches First Team Volleyball Players. Oh yeah, they're starting to get the hang of it. Great job, ladies, congratulations. And now we're ready for the presentation of the first team selections for girls swimming. But before we begin at this time, we're gonna ask that the first team boys swimmers report to the left side staging area. Just a reminder, just like volleyball did an outstanding job of exiting stage left to the Katie and Katie room, after you get your final applause, you will head on over there to get your first team photo. Now we're ready for the Clay County first team girls swimming selections. The 50 freestyle from Fleming Island High School, Emma Grimm. The 100 Fly from Clay High School, Sarah Stotler. The 100 Freestyle from Clay High School, Anna Stotler. The 100 Breaststroke from Clay High School, Elisa Addison. The 100 backstroke from Fleming Island High School, Sarah Grimm. The 200 freestyle from Clay High School, Anna Stotler. She's already up there, or she may not, yeah. The 200 IM from Clay High School, Sarah Stotler. There she is. The 500 freestyle from Oak Leaf High School, Paxson Schubert. The 200 medley relay team of from Fleming Island High School, Sarah Grimm, Emma Grimm, Avery Clark, and Christine Johnson. The 200 freestyle relay team from Fleming Island, Emma Grimm, Reagan Crosby, Christine Johnson, and Sarah Grimm. The 400 freestyle relay team from Fleming Island, Reagan Crosby, Avery Clark, Ellie Brinkman, and Emily Ramsden. Ladies and gentlemen, your Clay County first team girls swimmers. Congratulations, ladies. Come on over this way. Exit stage left. You're going to the Katie and Katie photo room.
Before we move on to more first team selections, I'd like to send it over to Miss Wingate as she interviews our two coaches of the year. Cindy. Yes, it's such an honor to be here with our two coaches. I just have a couple of questions and we're gonna share a mic. So let me start with you, Coach Thompson. What were the highlights this past year for you and your team? Uh, the girls have had a fantastic year so far. Kissimmee Classic champs, third time in a row, first team to do it since 2001. And uh, <laughs> tournament of champions, champions, and we are actually leaving uh, Wednesday to go to the Final Four. Oh my gosh, congratulations. Okay, Coach, same question. Highlights, uh, we're state runner-ups, I guess you can call that a highlight, but I mean, we won the region title, won the district title. So, um, I mean, anytime you get a chance to compete at a high level, I guess that's pretty good. Okay, and then we'll ask this question together. Um, how do you feel about being selected? And then what do you think makes a successful coach? I think it's an incredible honor. This room is filled tonight with great coaches and great athletes so to be selected amongst this, you know, tremendous auditorium full of people is, is really, truly a highlight. Um, and as far as what makes a good coach, you gotta care about your kids. You want your kids to be good people. Yes, we wanna compete, uh, but ultimately if we can make them better people, then we've made a difference. Uh, about being selected. It's all the work that these boys do. It's, it's, I just show up and try to push them as hard as I can. And them winning, it's all about them anyway. And to be a great coach, it's all about showing up and giving them everything you have and then whatever happens, happens. Okay, y'all, so let's hear it again for your coaches of the year. Coach of the year. Thank y'all very much. John, I'm gonna send it back to you. All right, we're going to get back to first team selections with boys swimming. The Clay County All Coaches first team selections for boys swimming are 50 Freestyle from Fleming Island High School, Andrew Hinton. The 100 Fly from Orange Park High School, Jacob Coutant. The 100 freestyle from Fleming Island High School, Andrew Hinton. The 100 breaststroke from Fleming Island High School, Josh Komea. The 100 backstroke from Ridgeview High School, Eric Kowal. The 200 freestyle from Orange Park High School, Jacob Coutant. The 200 IM from Clay High School, Sam Bennett. The 500 freestyle from Orange Park High School, Daniel Hinkle. The relay team of the 200 medley from Fleming Island High School, Andrew Hinton, Josh Kanomea, Robbie Jones, and Justin Liebisch. The relay 200 freestyle team from Fleming Island High School, Andrew Hinton, Josh Kanomea, Robbie Jones, and Charles Johnson. And lastly, the relay 400 freestyle team from Fleming Island High School, Micah Thompson, Alec Bilyeu, Paul Brown, and Charles Johnson. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Clay All-County Coaches First Team Boys Swimmers.
Thank you, men. Go ahead and head on to the photo room for your team photo. Thank you for joining us, Miss Karakis. As some of you know, the district hosted a golf tournament to help raise funds for tonight's event. The event was held on March 25th at Magnolia Point Golf and Country Club in Green Cove Springs. We'd like to thank Magnolia Point for doing such a wonderful job hosting this event. Over 120 golfers, myself included, participated, and it was an awesome day. Additionally, we want to thank all of the sponsors of the event, with Varsity Brands and Mr. Kevin Whitlow being our main sponsor. Again, representing Varsity Brands and one of their affiliates, Herb Jones, please join me in a huge round of applause for Mr. Kevin Whitlow. Kevin, stand on up. <laughs> Kevin does a great job and really contributes to Clay County, and we really appreciate it. Also up here on the screen, you can see all the other sponsors that contributed to a, an awesome golf event that a lot of people are looking forward to already for next year. You may have noticed several cameras in the room tonight. We're happy to partner with one of our local newspapers, Neighbor to Neighbor. We encourage you to pick up one of their, three, their free newspapers, and you'll see numerous pictures of tonight's events in future editions. Thank you to Miss Deborah Brown and Neighbor to Neighbor. In addition, recording tonight's events and editing the videos is Mr. Jason Maloney and his TV production classes from Ridgeview High School. <laughs> On your way in tonight, many of you student athletes were interviewed by some of the Ridgeview High School TV production students, and uh, we'd like to thank them so much for everything that they're doing for this ceremony tonight. Also, if you were here last year, you can see that this year we've kind of upped the ante. We got some unbelievable lights, some video, the best sound system in Northeast Florida, and uh, that's all because of Elevate Life Church. We'd like to thank them. <laughs> Wave to them back there. They're back there. They got a whole setup. You guys are doing a fantastic job, and we really appreciate your faith-based partnership here in Clay County. All right, let's go back to Miss Wingate. Cindy. It is time to meet our Clay County All-Star Athletes of the Month. This year, the county started a program where we have one male and one female athlete chosen each month. The selections were interviewed with the video placed on the district website and presented with their certificate. Here is an example of one of our Athletes of the Month. Clay County, welcome back. We're again here at Clay High School. I've got Athlete of the Month, Abby Hawkins, the Abby Hawkins. And again, we're at Clay High School, Principal Kerry Dix, Athletic Director Jay Stillno, a great school. Abby, first of all, congratulations. Thank you so much. And everything else. Hey, one of the things that was, uh, was turned in is uh, you're in charge of, I don't know if that's officially or unofficially, the Clay Crazies. Yes, Tell us about that. Definitely probably the highlight of my senior year was being in charge of the student section. So basically, it's uh, I was given the honor to, to be the first girl actually in charge wow. of this uh, student section. So basically, we, it started way back in like 2013, 2014 that year mm -hmm. um, to where this student section like pretty much represents the school. And so I'm in charge of running the Twitter page, coming up with different themes for that week, planning the game, the tailgates, and all that stuff. So it's really an honor to be a part of that legacy and carrying it on throughout the school and the, the tradition. So it's a big deal to me. I love doing it. It's my favorite thing. That's great. To the Katie and Katie photo room. So are we ready to go with our Clay County Athletes of the Month? First up, we have Alexander Warner from Oak Leaf High School. <laughs> Emily Luce from Keystone Heights High School. Michael Linton from Ridgeview High School. Anna Magruder from Ridgeview High School. 
Landon Up, Fleming Island High School. Camille Jackson, Keystone Heights High School. Daniel Hinkle, Orange Park High School. Mallory Roney, Middleburg High School. JC Ankrum, Orange Park High School. <laughs> Josh Hughes, Keystone Heights High School. Alexis Delano, Clay High School. Grant Stanish, Clay High School. Abby Hawkins, Clay High School. Riley Haynes, Oak Leaf High School. Haley Julius, Keystone Heights, Junior Senior High School. And just real quick, Haley has the distinction of being chosen for ESPN's Plays of the Week. Y'all want to watch? Yes, here we go. Way to go, awesome, yay! Okay, so continuing with our Clay County Athletes of the Month, we have Jeremiah Jackson from Fleming Island High School. Audrey Millison, Fleming Island High School. And Colin Henderson, Middleburg High School. Thank you and congratulations to all of the selections. We would like to also congratulate all of the school nominees. All of these individuals do a great job representing their schools, their sports, and their families. We ask that all of the selections report to the Katie and Katie photo room for a picture. Let's give them a big round of applause as they exit the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, now we have a special video of somebody that you all may recognize. Please join me by watching the screen. Hi, I'm John Thrasher, president of Florida State University. It's a real honor and privilege to be able to say hello to you tonight uh, on this great occasion in Clay County. As you may know, uh, I started out uh, living in Clay County and was on the Clay County School Board for a number of years. All three of my children uh, graduated from Clay County and we couldn't be prouder. I know this is a special occasion for our student athletes tonight to honor them for their success uh, academically as well as their particular sport. So it's a real treat for me to be able to say hello to you, wish you well, and hope you have a, a great evening. Thank you, President Thrasher, for those words. As you can see, we have a lot of people who are very proud of our student athletes and the work that they are doing. All right, here we go. Next up, we have the presentation of the softball first team selections. Ladies, please report to the staging area to the left of the stage. Softball to the left of the stage. While they are reporting to their area, we'd like to request that the first team selection for girls soccer report to the right side of the stage to their area. So we have softball to the left, soccer to the right, all the ladies. And while we get the ladies ready, presenting the next three sports will be school board member, Miss Mary Bola. Please join us in welcoming Miss Bola to the stage. So we're, while we're waiting for everybody to get to their place, um, I sure, I'm sure you noticed all the amazing decorations for our event, the main lobby area, Fleming Island High School, where you entered the school, the main room here. Um, it's done by an amazing lady, Belinda Barrier from Balloon Construction Company. So if you have an event that you need decorated, definitely give her a call. And we'd also like to thank Mr. Mike Elia from another Blooming Nursery 
for all of the plants tonight. John, I'm going to send it back over to you. Thanks, Cindy. Ms. Bola, welcome to the stage. Glad to have you. And now here are the selections for the Clay All-County Coaches first team for softball. Pitchers, Maddie Davis, Oakleaf High School. Morgan Kendrick, Fleming Island High School. Catcher, Brooke Michael, Ridgeview High School. Infielders, Ridgeview High School, Alyssa Adams. Oakleaf High School, Bailey Goddard. Oakleaf High School, J.C. Brookshire. Keystone Heights Junior Senior High School, Kylie Channel. Outfielders, Oakleaf High School, Jada McFarland. Oakleaf High School, Katie Kistler. Keystone Heights, Ashton Ludwig. And our two utility ladies, Clay High School, Dakota Worley. And Oakleaf High School, Aspen Winsheim. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your first team all-county softball team. Thank you, ladies. You can head on to the photo room. Good luck to Oak Leaf. And also, Ridgeview will be meeting you down there in the Final Four on Wednesday. Right? Before we announce the girls' soccer selections, we'd ask that the boys' soccer first team selections report to the left side of the staging area. Boys' soccer. Now we would like to present the medallions for the girls' soccer first team selections. Again, Ms. Bola, thank you for joining us up here on the stage. And now we have the Clay All County Coaches first team selections for girls' soccer. Megan Brennan, Fleming Island High School. Sky Paradise, Clay High School. D.D. Taylor, Keystone Heights High School. Marissa Cosman, Fleming Island High School. Hayden Bunn, Fleming Island High School. Morgan Hosier, Fleming Island High School. Lynette Kionis, Clay High School. Ansley Billu, Fleming Island High School. Lexi Patel, Fleming Island High School. Brianna Olafabel from Oakleaf High School. Gabby Bellomo from Clay High School. And Rachel. Kanomea from Fleming Island High School. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your first team ladies soccer players. 
Congratulations, ladies. You can head on to the Katie and Katie photo room. And now we'd like to announce the Clay All County Coaches team for boys soccer. Braden Ammon from Oak Leaf High School. Avery Cousins, Fleming Island High School. Dean Hogg, Keystone Heights High School. Elias Martin, Ridgeview High School. Gavin LeBlanc, Middleburg High School. Damian Rogers, Oakleaf High School. Garrett Godfrey, Fleming Island High School. Brian Ortiz, Ridgeview High School. Connor Davis, Fleming Island High School. Jackson Hester, Oakleaf High School. Noah Aldrich, Clay High School. And Joseph Lead, Middleburg High School. Ladies and gentlemen, your all county boys soccer team. Congratulations, men. You can head on down to the Katie and Katie photo room. We'd like to thank the ladies that are helping with the medallions tonight. Ladies, come on up on stage real quick. You probably didn't think you were going to have to come up, but you're doing a great job. We want everybody to be recognized. They are Lindsey Peck, Katie Johnson, Anna Gardella, and Emily Thomas from Fleming Island High School. Thank you guys so much. You're doing a great job. And operating the spotlights for us tonight are from Fleming Island High School, Braden Coburn and Chandler Spivey. Congratulations, guys. Thanks for helping out. And now let's go back to Cindy for our next hey. award. Yes, thank you, John. And now... We have, all, we have a new award tonight. All of you have probably watched a game or event on TV where you felt the game was over for one of the competitors, whether it be a team sport or an individual sport. They were so far behind that you just knew they had lost. And then it happened. They gained some momentum, a key play happened, and it turned around. This award is the Greatest Comeback of the Year Award. The nominations were sent in by various schools, and they are Fleming Island High School boys basketball team, Orange Park High School's football team, Ridgeview High School baseball team, and Middleburg High School volleyball team. And it's my pleasure to announce the winner of the greatest comeback of the year goes to Ridgeview High School baseball team. Congratulations. If you're on the Ridgeview High School baseball team, come on down. You've been so Coach John is going to tell us a little bit about the comeback. Congratulations, guys. Um, so the nomination that was sent in, uh, the comeback of the year, could have been a single game or an entire season. Um, this, this is a very young team. We have a lot of freshmen and a lot of sophomores. 
And uh, those, that was a pretty impressive list. Fleming Island boys basketball all the way to state. You know, Orange Park football, one of the best teams in the county. Middleburg, you guys, it's is, is unbelievable. And uh, the game that was, was brought up for this award was the district semifinals uh, against Clay. And every time we play Clay, it's just an absolute battle. Coach Persinger does an awesome job with his, his guys and Coach McQuaig. Coach McQuaig was actually the best man in my wedding. So it's always a, a friendly rivalry with those guys. But um, we won in 11 innings, and this game went back and forth and uh, came down to the wire. So, fellas, Coach Voro, thank you for everything you do. Guys, congratulations. The Ridgeview High School baseball team, congratulations. So as they exit the stage, next up we have our Clay County Hero Award. And to present this award, please welcome to the stage the principal of Fleming Island High School, Mr. Tom Pittman. While Mr. Pittman is making his way to the stage, let me tell you a little bit about this award. This award goes to the students who met the following criteria. They earned at least one varsity letter this year. They have met the challenge of overcoming an adverse or difficult situation in the last 12 months. And they have demonstrated outstanding desire and interest in playing sports. Each school selected their winners and all of these students will be honored tonight with the Clay County Hero Award. As I call each winner from each high school, I would ask that you please come to the stage and re receive your award from Mr. Pittman. The winners are, from Keystone Heights Junior Senior High School, Ryan Turner. Congratulations, Ryan. From Clay High School, Sydney Lewis. Congratulations, Sydney. From Fleming Island High School, Landon Perry. Congratulations, Landon. From Middleburg High School, Kevin Littles. From Orange Park High School, Madison Detman. Madison with us tonight? Okay. Congratulations to Madison. From Ridgeview High School, Brendan Costi. Congratulations, Brendan. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you that each school had numerous candidates, and it was very hard to narrow down just to one person, but they did. Again, join me in congratulating the Clay County Hero Awards. <laughs> you guys can head on to the photo room. Congratulations.
So, so far tonight, we've seen a lot of really good athletes and amazing uh, young people come up here. But if you haven't been inspired enough by them, check this out. Ah, right, listen. I know we're young. I, I know that the other team's a little bit bigger than us or anything else. But we've heard that all year. We can do this. We've worked hard. I've got confidence in all of you. We are a scrappy bunch, this group right here. We are scrappy. That's what we're known for around the county. Let's go out there tonight and show them we're not this little team, that we can do this, and we can get after it. Are you ready to go? Coach. Billy's mom's here with the uh, post-game snacks. Gotta love it. We appreciate Little Paws over at Ridgeview High School for helping us out with that awesome video. Let's get back to our team selections. Next up is girls and boys tennis. I'd like to ask that the first team selections for girls and boys tennis, please make your way to the staging area on the left side of the stage. While they're moving over to the staging area, we would like a welcome to the stage to present the medallions. School board member, Miss Tina Bullock. X marks the spot, that's right. And now we'd like to present the all-county coaches team, first team selections for girls tennis. Cheyenne Looney, Oak Leaf High School. Gabby Feliciano, Fleming Island High School. <laughs> Kathleen Francis, Fleming Island High School. <laughs> Lila Sarson, Fleming Island High School. Camille Jenkins, Oak Leaf High School. And Reagan Uima from Oak Leaf High School. Ladies, you're going to hold tight right there as we move on to the Clay County coaches' first team for boys tennis. They are... James Bratt, Ridgeview High School. David Burns, Fleming Island High School. Riley Haynes, Oak Leaf High School. Evan Mayer, Fleming Island High School. Quaid Zaldana, Ridgeview High School. And Logan Zapp, Fleming Island High School. Could not be with us tonight, but congratulations to our girls and boys, first team tennis players. Congratulations, you guys can head for your team pictures. Next up is girls track and field. Here are the Clay All-County Coaches Team first team selections for girls track and field. Discus, Destiny Bastin, Orange Park High School. And Destiny gets to stay right there because she also is the first team selection for the shot put. Pole vault, Victoria Lopez, Middleburg High School. <laughs> Tr 
Triple jump, Lauren Johnson, Oak Leaf High School. Lauren, you also won the long jump. Congratulations. The winner of the high jump, Zoe Whaley, Ridgeview High School. Our 4x800 meter relay team from Fleming Island High School, consisting of Lauren Shawdell, Marissa Courtright, Grayson Illier, and May Chang. Our 4x400 meter relay team from Fleming Island High School, Miss Aubrey Burke, Lily Amsden, Marissa Courtright, and Audrey Milliken. The 4x100 meter relay team from Oak Leaf High School, Taja Peoples, Hadassah Davis, Ariana Eason, and Vivica Fitzgerald. My deepest apologies if I pronounce that wrong. The winner of the 300 meter hurdles, Takayla Edwards. And Takayla's going to stay up here because she's also the first team winner of the 100 meter hurdles. This is impressive. Instead of going one by one, I'm going to say the three events. This young lady won the 3,200 meter. She won the 1,600 meter. She won the 800 meter from Fleming Island High School, May Chang. It sounds like that girl can run. The 400 meter from Fleming Island High School, Audrey Milliken. The 200 meter and 100 meter from Oak Leaf High School, Tasha Peoples. Did I say that? She said, I, I got confirmation, it was correct. Congratulations to our first team track and field ladies. Great job. Ladies, you can head on down to the photo room. At this time, we're gonna send it on over to Miss Wingate. Hello. Okay, so I have another new award for Clay County. Every year, several teams perform at a level that earns them a trip to the FHSAA State Playoff Series. Clay County had several teams go far into the playoffs this year. In addition, there are times when a team has to overcome a hardship or an adverse condition and still succeeds. This award recognizes that team who excelled for the 2018-2019 season. The nominees for this award are... Orange Park High School girls basketball team, Oak Leaf High School softball team, Middleburg High School volleyball team, Clay High School flag football team, Ridgeview High School volleyball team, Keystone Heights High School golf, girls golf team, and Fleming Island High School competitive cheerleading team. So when the winner is announced, I would ask that the coach of the team please come to see me and that the team members report to the main stage to receive your award. And I'm proud to announce that the 2018-19 Female Athletic Team of the Year goes to Oak Leaf High School softball team. Okay, so I just wanted to ask Coach Thompson a quick question. Um, if you could just tell the audience what was so special about this year and this team. 
we just have a tremendous group of young ladies that work really, really hard and persevere, and they never settle for being mediocre. Um, I wanted to take a minute, though. Like, I, I'm, These girls work exceptionally hard, um, but there are two gentlemen that also help out in this process, and it's Rob Thompson, he's sitting in the back, and Jason Brown, two exceptional coaches that uh, don't get enough credit. Thank you so much. And let's give another round of applause to our female athletic team of the year. Congratulations. Congratulations, ladies. You can head to the Katie and Katie photo room. Okay, so you have met the Clay County Female Team of the Year. Now let's show you the nominees for the Clay County Male Athletic Team of the Year. The nominees are Orange Park High School Boys Track and Field, Ridgeview High School Wrestling, Fleming Island High School Boys Basketball, Keystone Heights High School Boys Weightlifting, and Oak Leaf High School Boys Basketball. And it's my honor to recognize the winner of the Male Athletic Team of the Year goes to Fleming Island High School Boys Basketball Team. If the team would report to the stage and Coach Chandler, please come see me. Here he comes. Hey, yeah. Coach Chandler, hey. How are you? Congratulations. I just wanted to ask you a quick question. Can you tell everyone about this year and that team? Uh, just to reiterate uh, what all the other coaches said, uh, just the hard work, the commitment. Uh, these guys worked extremely hard, and, you know, it paid off. Excellent. Thank you, and congratulations. All right, let's hear it one more time for the Male Athletic Team of the Year, Fleming Island High School Boys Basketball. Back to you, John. Congratulations, guys. You can head to the photo room. Way to go, Miss Bullock. Thank you for joining us on the stage. We appreciate it. What an honor, team of the year. Congratulations to both teams and, and those individuals. Let's move on. At this time, I'd like to call the boys track and field members to report to the right side of the stage area. That's boys track and field. In addition, I'd like the first team girls and boys golf selections to go to the left side of the stage. While we get this presentation ready, please welcome to the stage the principal of Orange Park High School, Mr. Clayton Anderson. Thank you, Mr. Anderson. Welcome to the stage. And now here are the first team selections for boys track and field by event. They are Discus, Jalen Rivers, Oak Leaf High School. And Jalen's going to stay right there. He's also the first team selection for the shot put. The pole vault, Kyle Bisson from Ridgeview High School. The triple jump, Anthony Taylor from Oak Leaf High School. The long jump, Ezra McCullum, Fleming Island High School. The high jump, John Abate from Orange Park High School. John. The 4 by 800 meter relay team from Fleming Island High School, Tristan Ayers, Jared Ash, Jacob Ash, and Landon Opp. The 4 by 400 meter relay team from Orange Park High School, Alex Collier. Sean Dixon, 
Diego Soto, and John Abate. The 4x100 meter relay team from Oak Leaf High School, Andre Taylor, Anthony Taylor, Ricky Embry, and Donovan Thomas. The 300 meter hurdles from Orange Park High School, John Abate. He's gonna have trouble standing up straight here in a few minutes. The 110 meter hurdles from Fleming Island High School, Glenn Rogers. He may be prom king too, it sounds like. Nice job, Glenn. State champion, the 3200 meter and the 1600 meter from Ridgeview High School, Joel Nisi. The 800 meter from Keystone Heights High School, Alex Guy. And another big time achiever, the 400 meter the 200 meter, and the one, yes, the 100 meter from Orange Park High School, Alex Collier. Another state champ, congratulations. Unbelievable group, your boys track and field team, first team. Man, you guys can head on to the Katie and Katie photo room. Congratulations. Congrats. Way to go, guys. Looking good. Nice job, buddy. Good job, man. Before we get to the next team, I'd like to recognize another group that has made tonight's event, event so special and that would be the culinary programs. I saw people coming in all night with food. That was from Middleburg High School, Ridgeview High School, and Orange Park, Clay, and Keystone's culinary programs. Give them a huge round of applause if you enjoy the food tonight. We'd also like to thank, to thank their teachers who also worked extremely hard tonight to provide those delicious hors d'oeuvres. Next up, we have girls and boys golf. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to stay on the stage until the boys golf team has been announced as well. And please collect your medallion from Mr. Anderson. The Clay County first team selection for girls golf, Camille Jackson, Keystone Heights High School. Victoria Green, Middleburg High School. Sloan Siebert, Keystone Heights High School. Candace Jackson, Keystone Heights High School. And Ashton Ludwig, Keystone Heights High School. And now the selections for the boys golf team from Fleming Island High School, Jacob Godwin. From Fleming Island High School, Peyton Billings. From Clay High School, Andrew Lonsdale. From Fleming Island High School, Parker Miller. From Keystone Heights High School, Wyatt Thomas. Parker and Wyatt couldn't make it with us tonight, but once again, we'd like to wish a huge congratulations to the boys and girls first team all-county selections. Congratulations. You guys can head on down to the Katie and Katie photo room. Now we have another individual award, and it is the Clay County Unsung Volunteer Award. This award involves students who give back to their communities or school. While nobody expects students to be able to give financially, the message is this. 
you can have an impact on others' lives in many different ways. Join me in watching this video of a major professional athlete who has changed lives doing just that. I have no idea who's coming. Like, literally, no idea. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Dwayne. Hello. Hello. How you doing, brother? Pretty good, and yourself? It's been about 12 years since I last seen you. I come from an area where not too many people make it. It was always my dream that I'd get the chance to go to college, but we just didn't have the money. You mean so much to us, and my brother, Joaquin, loved you from the beginning. He passed away in Parkland on February 14th. He was one of the 17 victims. 10 days before Christmas, our house burned down and we lost everything. It was one of the lowest points in my life. Hey, Dwight. How you doing, Ma? You were the joy of my life, but I was dropping the ball. That day that I just couldn't do it no more was the day that I was going to have to turn myself in. And I seen the tears just fall from your eyes. Your mama went down a road, Dwayne, that I didn't ever think I'd come back from. But on that road, I noticed you kept showing up. And you'll come and see about me. And Dwayne, because you believe in me. When I got out of prison, I was a different woman. We received a phone call. Would you mind if Dwayne Wade take you and the family <laughs> on a shopping spree? It just meant the world to me that you were there for us at this time. And Thank you. You became our hero. A lot of the words that you said hit a spark and kind of changed where I was going. Without you and your full tuition scholarship, none of this would have been possible. You're not way the basketball player, the legend. You're the human being that took the time and on his own, wrote my brother's name on his shoe, and you cared. When you bought your mama that church, you don't even understand the lives that you changed. So I don't have a jersey, but I brought you this. I don't have a jersey to trade with you but I definitely have this, the blazer that I wore to my first job interview. My cap and gown from graduation. This is important because Joaquin wore this in his last championship. My family wanted you to have it. Please don't forget my brother, Joaquin. Having you as a role model has made all the difference. One of the special robes that you gave me, purple symbolized royalty, and you are royal in everybody's life that you've been touched. You completely changed the course of my life. I know my brother is with you always. It wouldn't have been possible to be here if it wasn't you. I am more proud of the man you have become than the basketball player. You are bigger than basketball. I'm not crying, you're crying. To present our next award is Orange Park High School, Mr. Clayton Anderson. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Scrobel. We appreciate you being here tonight. It's an honor to recognize the Volunteer Award. All the nominees of this, are, they're all winners. I want to share a little bit about the award first. This is the student who unselfishly volunteers. They give of their time and their resources to help others. The criteria for the award is as follows. The student has earned at least two varsity letters. During this year, the student has volunteered at a level that provided significant contributions to a civic program, and the student has a complete an essay on how does volunteering impact one's community and personal life. 
And the winner for the 2018-19 Clay County Unsung Volunteer Award, Ms. Haley Wadsworth of Middleburg High School. Ms. Wadsworth will not be able to join us tonight. She's on a school function, but uh, she's on her way back. But we want to make sure we give another round of applause for Ms. Haley Wadsworth, Middleburg High School. Congratulations to Haley and Middleburg High School. Before we go to our next team, another partner that we'd like to recognize is Bright Minds Youth Development. And now for flag football and the tackle football selections, ladies, please, or flag football players, please report to the right side of the stage. First team selections. And offensive football players, offensive football players only, please report to the left side of the stage. And now we're going to present the Clay All-County Coaches Team for flag. Oh, excuse me. I jumped the gun there. And now, before we get to the first team selections, we'd like to welcome to the stage school board member, Miss Ashley Gilhausen. Please welcome Miss Gilhausen to the stage. Welcome, Ms. Gilhausen. And now, representing the Clay All-County Coaches Team for flag football, quarterback, Brittany Sutton, Ridgeview High School. <laughs> quarterback, Ciara Zeno, Clay High School. <laughs> Running back, Trinity Guilford, Ridgeview High School. Running back, D.D. Taylor, Keystone Heights Senior High School. Linebacker, J.C. Ancrum, Orange Park High School. Linebacker, Jenna Hill, Clay High School. Linebacker, Hope Rozier, Fleming Island High School. Rusher, Victoria Bannon, Keystone Heights Senior High School. Rusher, Brooklyn McLean, Clay High School. Rusher, Kiana Montoya, Fleming Island High School. And our two athletes, Aubrey, Bur Aubrey Burke, Fleming Island High School. And Alexis Stilano, Clay High School. Ladies and gentlemen, your first team flag football players. Thank you very much, ladies. Congratulations. While we, while we prepare for the first team offense players for football, we'd like to ask that the first team defense football players report to the right side of the stage. And now, here are the first team offense selections for the Clay County All Coaches team. At quarterback, Tyler Huff, Ridgeview High School. At running back, Keyshawn King, Oakleaf High School. At running back, Alex Collier, Orange Park High School. <laughs> For, 
uh, wide receiver, Terrence Johnson, Orange Park High School. Wide receiver, Sean Washington, Oak Leaf High School. Tight end, Sam Snyder, Fleming Island High School. Offensive lineman, James Rhodes, Orange Park High School. Offensive lineman, Dan Dodd, Keystone Heights Senior High School. Offensive lineman, Joe Grelly from Clay High School. And our final offensive lineman from Oak Leaf High School, excuse me, two more, Jalen Rivers. Our final lineman from Middleburg High School, Cole LeClaire. At athlete, Spencer LeSage from Clay High School. The first team kicker, Matt Koziolik from Ridgeview High School. The first team punter from Ridgeview High School, Tyler Duggan, who could not be here tonight. He's at his brother's graduation. Ladies and gentlemen, our first team offense football players. Congratulations, guys. You can head on to the Katie and Katie photo room. Now we'd like to present the Clay All County Coaches Team first team members for defense. Defensive lineman, Cole LeClaire, Middleburg High School. He was just on that team. Here he comes. Congratulations, Cole. From Orange Park High School, Kendi Charles. From Oak Leaf High School, Chance Williams. From Fleming Island High School, Jake Libretto. Our linebackers from Oak Leaf High School, Jordan Randall. From Oak Leaf High School, Dexter Moore. And from Orange Park High School, Carson Jackson. Our first team cornerbacks from Orange Park High School, Isaiah Blair. From Oak Leaf High School, Donovan Thomas. Our first team safeties from Orange Park High School, Shaq Magwood. And from Oak Leaf High School, Christian Sellers. Rounding out the defensive team, an athlete utility player from Orange Park High School, Jacob Moore. Ladies and gentlemen, your first team selections for defense for football. Congratulations, man. You can head on to the photo room. Thank you. You're good to go. Thank you, Ms. Gilhausen. To present these awards, please welcome to the stage last year's MC and principal of Keystone Heights Junior Senior High School, Mr. Aaron McWilliams. Evening, y'all. All right. This is a special award, and I'm proud to be able to present these winners. 
Sports have become so competitive and contentious that we sometimes see our heroes and participants behaving in a manner that is less than acceptable. Fortunately, I am proud to say that these students don't fall into that category. To be nominated for this award, and believe me, all these nominees are winners, the following criteria was used. One, must have participated in at least one varsity sport during the school year. Two, they had to submit an essay on why is sportsmanship important in high school athletics. And three, two letters of recommendation and represent the ideals of sportsmanship to officials, opponents, and fans on a daily basis. Indeed, in our county, this could go to anyone for sure. But the winner of the Female Sportsmanship Award goes to Bailey Goddard of Oak Leaf High School. Okay, congratulations, Bailey. Representing that same criteria, now for the Male Sportsmanship Award. And that honor goes to Cooper Vaughn of Clay High School. Cooper. Congratulations, Bailey and Cooper. You guys can head to the photo room. Way to go. Thank you, Mr. McWilliams, and congratulations once again to our winners. We we're going to send it to Miss Wingate, and I think Haley still isn't here yet from that field trip. Yes, because we wanted to interview her and ask her a couple of questions, but we're going to move on at this time. We're moving to girls and boys cross country, and we ask they both report to the left staging area. Boys and girls cross country, please report to the left staging area. And competitive cheerleading to the right staging area. Competitive cheerleading to the right staging area. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage to present the medallions, the principal of Oakleaf High School, Ms. Treasure Pickett. May Chang, Fleming Island High School. Lauren Shadell, Fleming Island High School. Jennifer Fleece, Fleming Island High School. Emma Milson, Fleming Island High School. Grace Adams, Fleming Island High School. Emma Musante, Middleburg High School. And Marissa Courtright, Fleming Island High School. Ladies, if you just want to scoot down this way, we're going to stay on stage until we get through the boys here. The first team boys selections for cross country from Orange Park High School, John Bear. From Oakleaf High School, Dylan Nelson. From Ridgeview High School, Joel Nisi. From Fleming Island High School, Cameron Walizada. From Fleming Island High School, Will Livesay. From Fleming Island High School, Landon Opp. From Keystone Heights High School, Alex Guy. Big congratulations to our boys and girls cross country first teamers. 
Congratulations, you can head to the Katie and Katie photo room for your team pictures. And now we have the competitive cheerleading selections for first team. Again, Miss Pickett will assist with presenting their medallions. Here's your Clay All-County Coaches first team for competitive cheerleading. From Oak Leaf High School, India Watts. From Oak Leaf High School, Asia Barnett. From Clay High School, Katherine McKenzie. From Clay High School, Mackenzie Davis. From Clay High School, Justin Merring. From Middleburg, oh, he's got, yeah, that's the ACL guy. Hey, give him a big round of applause. He's over there. Hope you get healed up soon. From Middleburg High School, Madison Tomberg. Here he comes. Teamwork, making the dream work right there. Yes, sir. Congratulations, Madison. From Middleburg High School, Jessica Herlock. From Ridgeview High School, Michaela Bresnock. From Ridgeview High School, Hannah Bright. From Ridgeview High School, Spencer Calise. From Fleming Island High School, Joseph Green. From Fleming Island High School, Ashley Bird. From Fleming Island High School, Courtney Googe. From Orange Park High School, Dally Paban. From Orange Park High School, India Richards. And from Orange Park High School, Keenan Restall. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your first team cheerleaders. Thank you very much. Congratulations. You can head to the Katie and Katie photo room. Thank you, Ms. Pickett, for helping us with those awards. At this time, we'd like to present the Female and Male Three Sport Athletes Award. As you know, we have many student athletes who love to compete in multiple sports. In an era where athletes seem to be specializing in one sport more and more, there are few athletes out there who compete in three or possibly four sports in a calendar school year, and they also do extremely well in the classroom. This award is for those athletes. Each school nominated one male and one female for this award to present their plaques. Please welcome to the stage the principal of Ridgeview High School, Ms. Debbie Segreto. While Ms. Segreto makes her way to the stage, please join me in thanking some very special individuals in the room with us tonight. We've all had someone in our lives who's motivated us. They've believed in us, and they would never let us fail. These individuals spend long hours at all seven high schools. Most of the time, they're a first-class educator first. I'm talking about the coaches in Clay County. 
At this time, if you're in the room with us tonight and you're a coach, please stand to be recognized. A big round of applause for our Clay County coaches. Thank you for joining us tonight and taking time away from your families. We appreciate it, and so do your student athletes. And now for the Clay County female three-sport athlete, our winner is from Orange Park High School, J.C. Ankrum. Congratulations, JC. JC's going to stay on stage for our male winner. The winner of the Clay County Male Three Sport Athlete goes to from Oak Leaf High School, Jalen Rivers. Here he comes. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, your Clay County male three sport athletes and female. Congratulations, JC and Jalen. You guys can head to the Katie and Katie photo room. At this time, we're going to move right along to the first team baseball selections. Can you please make your way to the stage? to the left staging area. First team baseball to the left. Ms. Segreto will be presenting the medallions as they make their way to the left. I'd like to invite the girls and boys basketball teams to go to the right staging area. Baseball to the left, boys and girls basketball to the right. And here are our first team winners for baseball in Clay County. Pitcher from Clay High School, Dylan Faulkner. Pitcher from Fleming Island High School, Zach Mercer. Catcher from Keystone Heights Senior High School, Andrew Cox. Outfielders from Clay High School, Garrett Chun. From Ridgeview High School, Ryan Dickey. From Oak Leaf High School, Kobe Branch. First base from Middleburg High School, High School Colin Henderson. Second base from Ridgeview High School, Evan Wickery. Shortstop from Ridgeview High School, Calvin Gonzalez. Third base from Clay High School, Justin Mosley. And our utility player from Orange Park High School, Alex Oaks. Ladies and gentlemen, your first team all-county baseball selections. Congratulations, men. You can head to the photo room. Thank you, Ms. Segreto. Our last sport to be recognized will be basketball. Following these selections, however, will be the pre presentation of the female and male athlete of the year and also the female and male scholar athlete of the year. We will get to those in just a few moments. First, let's recognize girls and boys selections. 
Doing the honors will be principal of Clay High School, Mr. Kerry Dix. Welcome to the stage. We'll begin with the ladies team. So here's your first team for girls basketball. From Fleming Island High School, Aubrey Burke. From Orange Park High School, Shamia Capers. From Ridgeview High School, Trinity Guilford. From Clay High School, Alexis Stilino. From Middleburg High School, Mallory Roney. And from Middleburg High School, Brittany Range. Congratulations to our girls team. They're going to stay right there while we welcome out the boys. From Orange Park High School, Jonna Bates. From Clay High School, Cooper Vaughn. From Oak Leaf High School, Chance Williams. From Ridgeview High School, Parker Whitaker. From Keystone Heights High School, Eddie Thomas. From Fleming Island High School, Gianfranco Grafalls Jimenez. A big round of applause for our girls and boys first team basketball selections. Congratulations, you guys can head on down to the Katie and Katie photo room. Thank you, Mr. Dix. At this time, we're going to send it over to Cindy for our next individual award. Take ladies it away. And, ladies and gentlemen, we have seen many wonderful and talented student athletes tonight. Again, I want to thank all the parents for supporting your young people and to the coaches as well. Now we'd like to present our female and male athletes of the year. The winners were selected by the committee with a focus on outstanding athletic achievement. As you can imagine, many of our young people will be earning an athletic scholarship the two winners either led their teams to outstanding finishes this year or they excelled individually. To help us award these winners, please welcome to the stage, representing Varsity Brands and Herf Jones, Mr. Kevin Whitlow. Okay, so our special winners tonight. We're gonna to start with the female athlete of the year. She comes to us from Clay High School. Ladies and gentlemen, Alexis Dildo! <laughs> and the winner of the male athlete of the year from Orange Park High School, my school son, John Abate. Yes! Yes! yes. <laughs> Another big round of applause. Oh, the male and female athlete of the year. And John, an award that is Special to me, the Scholar Athlete of the Year is going to be our final award tonight. And before this gentleman announces those winners, please join me in watching our next short video for some more motivation. <laughs> our last motivation. I'm begging you. I've tried everything this year, I'm begging you. You gotta give a little bit more effort. You gotta communicate with people more. You gotta come up with more programs. You gotta have more passion in what you're doing. 
you've got to be more visible out there and show a little bit more energy with all your players. Can we do it? What? Coach, you may want to dial it back a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our amazing and awesome superintendent of schools, Mr. Addison Davis. For this award, the student must be a senior. Although it has been, although it was established that all of the nominees had to have a 3.75 grade point average, you can imagine that all seven of these nominees were well over 4.0. In addition, the student had to have earned at least four varsity letters over their high school career, submitted their high school transcripts along with two letters of recommendation. All of these student winners, all these students are winners in our book. I can tell you this, that three of the seven nominees had GPAs that were highest enough to be valedictorians in their class. It was a very tough choice for the committee. To present our awards is our superintendent, Mr. Davis. So let's get to it. The winner of Female Scholar Athlete of the Year for Clay County is Alexis Stilino from Clay High School. Congratulations, Alexis. <laughs> the winner for Male Scholar Athlete of the Year for Clay County goes to from Fleming Island High School, Michael Pyle. Congratulations to our uh, winners. Unbelievable job. We'd like to thank everyone for coming out tonight. We've had a fantastic night. To our seniors, we wish you the best in your future endeavors. Parents, please feel free to stick around, use the stage, take pictures, and we hope to see you guys next year. Have a great evening and drive home safely. Oh, they both were both were great. Uh, cross country went to state, track four by eight went to state. <laughs> God. Oh, okay. And it's gonna. Oh God, this is gonna kill both of us. Yeah, worth it. Worth it. My girlfriend is standing right there. She, you can put the camera on her if you want. She's right there behind the Fleming Island jersey. We just, we just move this. She's right there. See, this is this is why I'm bad at interviewing. I'm just so good at this. Just so good. Uh, <laughs> man, I gotta, I gotta. We're gonna get, we're gonna get on this. Uh, pretty, it's pretty much a stud, but see how, how strong you are. Ah, uh, yeah. Hi, I'm Brooke Dickey, and I'm Lily Trelly, and we're here at the Clay County All. What is it? <laughs> and we're here at the Clay County First Team Banquet to interview some of the first team. What is it? 